I'm pretty sure this is not how you take out a heat press. tonight i'm going to attempt i'm going to attempt to unbox a brand new heat press all by myself i have no one else here with me um i don't know why i try to do these things by myself i'm in some comfortable clothes because we're about to lift some heavy equipment i do want to see if i can do it by myself i kind of get tired of asking people for help and you know my son is not able to help me with certain things like this the last time I had my sister help me with my heat press, that was a bigger one. That one was a 16 by 20. But tonight I'm going to unbox a 15 by 15 and I'm going to see if I can do it all by myself. If not, I'm going to have to pause the video and beg someone for help. Stay tuned. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get this heat press. I don't know. I think I might be crazy for trying to attempt to do this by myself. Oh my god. Ooh, just dragging it in here. So big shout out and thanks to Racoma for sending me this heat press to unbox and review. And I just want to be 100% honest and disclose that information to all my viewers. So I will always give you my 100% honest review and opinion on anything that I show on my channel. Okay, I just need to see technically how heavy it is, if I can even lift it. Oh God, <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm gonna have to rip the box. I'm gonna have to rip the box to make it easier for me. Oh man. Dang, the box is like, oh, struggles, the problems of being a single woman. All right, I don't ripped it now, so when I move, how am I gonna package it back up? I don't like ripping boxes, certain type of boxes. I like keeping them, um, but I need to get in here. I don't know how to get in here. This is in here. Something tells me I'm not, whoa. get it out I, I'm pretty sure I can lift it so let's see yo what kind of box is this I'm pretty sure this is not how you take out a heat press. Sorry, Rakoma. I'm trying to do this by myself. Okay. 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 We getting somewhere. I don't want y'all to see my butt. I gotta turn it this way. <laughs> I don't want to put my butt in the camera. Now I'm too far from that. Because I need to be so close to that. So I got to turn it this way. All of that. I got to be in the perfect position to lift it. I'm going to put this right here to prop it on just in case because I don't want it to be too low like if I can't make it I need to put it right here see I'm thinking I'm thinking Whew. I don't have a tank top on I need to take my hoodie off okay I'm back I'm back I'm back I'm back um you lift with your knees right 
lift at your knees. I used to be a conductor for Amtrak. Ooh, in my former days, had to always lift baggage. I just need to see. Whew. I used to be in the gym. Used to. <laughs> ah! Oh my God. It's because it's in the thing. It's because it's in that. So I got to get it out of that. I can lift it better with one hand than two. That's crazy. Look at that. Look at that. I just got to get it out of this phone. That's what's really the problem. It's because it's in the phone. Okay. I got it up. Don't let it back down, Trina. Get it out the phone. I got to talk to myself. <laughs> ah, I got it out the phone. Oh, my God. In between my legs. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, baby. I'm so glad I put that there. Oh, my hands. My hands. Oh. 15 by 15. You ain't no joke. You are no joke. What's this? What's that? Oh, y'all. I'm strong. Look at that. I feel like I am every woman right now. <laughs> I know y'all was, I know y'all was doubting me. She was like, this girl is crazy. This girl is crazy. I need to know exactly how many pounds this wear. Don't worry, I'm gonna get it up there. I got it out the box now, so I'm gonna get it up there. Oh, I don't know how much to suck away. I don't wanna, y'all better be liking this video for this. I'm doing this for y'all. <laughs> My sister, I don't, I don't like waiting around for people. I don't like waiting around for people. And I don't like begging people for help. Had I lived in New York still, tons of friends, tons of male family. Down here, I only have two male cousins. The one you've seen in my other video, and the other one, he older than him. He ain't coming to lift this. But, um, yeah, we're going to get this up. We're going to press this tonight. I'm going to explain this whole heat press to you guys. Because this is a great heat press. For anyone just starting out, it's a little higher. It's a little higher, so close this. I don't want to hit nothing. Should be the perfect amount of space. I moved everything over. Uh, let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. I'm trying to see what's the best grip, because this right here is not easy holding on to. So I need to come under here. Can I hold it from the handle? I'm just doing a test. Okay, 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 okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, put the back down. Ugh. Come on, baby. Ugh. Ooh, y'all. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. What should I know about that? Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Father, I thank you right now. Oh, God. For being my muscles, for being my strength when I was weak. Oh, Lord, thank you. That was no joke. Okay, I just need a moment. I just need a moment. Because my hands hurt. Those good calves. That's not my calf. Those good thigh muscles. Okay. So I'm going to bring you all in closer. I like this. I like this, baby. Let's do this. I'm feeling good from my head to my shoes. I don't know what to do. Ooh, 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 ooh. I got a new machine. So before I do anything and take you through all the specs, because the power thing is in the back, I'm just going to go ahead and plug this in. This goes in the back just like that and I have to actually go under my table. I do use a surge protector. I don't plug it straight into the wall. So I'm going to go ahead and get down there and do that and then I'll be right back and I'll show you how to set it up. Okay, so before you even turn it on, you need to unscrew the bolt that's holding it together. This is only for Transportation purposes, this comes out. Now it can come up. 
And just in case if you didn't know, this is a slide out drawer. Y'all know I love my slide out drawers. I will not get any other heat press that does not have a slide out drawer or I think my next one will be a swing away. I definitely want to try the swing away. Um, it does not lock, I don't think. It only, someone had asked me about my other one. They do not lock close. Now I'm sure if I want to do this, but I don't do that with my other one. Um, but they only close when they're being used. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. The power button is on the right hand side of the machine. This is all touch screen. This is what you want your heat press to go to, your, um, your goal. It's beeping because it's closed. So I'm just gonna touch it. So I tapped it from Celsius to Fahrenheit. So now I'm going to enter in 300 as my target. So as you see now, this is my goal, what I want it set it to. This one over here lets you know what it's currently at. And once it gets up to your desired goal, it will beep. Down here is how long you want it to go for. So I'm gonna set my time manually. And I'm just gonna right now enter 30 seconds. So once it's set, once my des once it reaches my desired goal for 300 degrees Fahrenheit, the machine will beep when ready. I love that this is touch screen. This actually is a bonus over my other one. The other one, of course, you know, you have to do it manually, but this one, you know, I like it because it is definitely touch screen. There's no buttons involved in it whatsoever. So I'm gonna use my handle. I like this handle much better on the, as opposed to my heat press. This one has, you know, a nice rubber grip or silicone grip. But the 15 by 15 platen is so much better, more efficient when pressing kids' garments, in my opinion, as opposed to, you know, stretching the side. So especially when I'm doing hoodies on the 16 by 20, you know, sometimes, you know, the pocket gets in the way. So matter of fact, so we know the t-shirt will be easier, but let's see how the hoodie fits on here. So it's heating up. And I'm not pressing this. I just want to see what the difference is. Even though the pocket is still on here, the pocket is definitely still on here, but I can pull it down. So either way, it's, you know, it's better for like maybe the medium size or large size. But um, either way, it's still better for, you know, kid sizes, t-shirts, you know, adult sizes too, but definitely kid sizes where it'll be able to lay flatter especially the sides, I get all the sides off. So that way, I, you know, cause all these raised edges doesn't press flat on the 16 by 20. I don't want to go back too far because it is definitely getting hot so I can feel it. So I'm just going to let that heat up all the way. Here's the screen. It's heating up. It's almost at 300 just so you can see what it will look like. Okay, so it didn't beep. Okay, so it doesn't beep when it's at the correct temperature, which is, you know, I like it to beep because I want to know when it's, if I'm doing something else, I want to know when the heat press is ready. So it didn't beep, but I do know that it beeps once that the timer goes off and your um, item is ready. I'm actually going to put that down to about 15 seconds. It also depends on what I'm pressing, but I know I'm not pressing anything for 30 seconds. So I'm gonna get a design and I'm gonna actually put it into action and give you my full honest review on this brand new heat press. Okay, so I'm gonna test out the machine for the very first time, first press. This is just a shirt that I had messed up the other side. So instead of using a brand new shirt, I am just gonna use this one. I am not making a design or anything. I'm just using something that messed up in the beginning. This is just an easy subly um, cut. And when I cut it, this was, I, I never throw out a lot of my scraps or when I mess up something, I don't throw it out because I can use them for demo purposes. So now these will come in handy. It cut off centered a little bit. This was from a while ago. So I am definitely saving it and now I can use it to test how it presses because no one will be wearing this shirt. So this is an easy subly. 
Don't worry, I have mastered the technique with the Easy Subly. And as you've seen in other videos, if you do use this, if it's a one whole piece of a design, you can just place it on here. So I'm just gonna be using these random pieces just because I wanna see how they press. How well the machine works I'm gonna be pressing at 315 degrees for 15 seconds and that's my standard for the easy subly for Caesar HTV so I'm just gonna press this just like I normally would this is the sublimation HTV so I am going to apply the butcher paper on top and a protective Teflon sheet. I'm gonna slide this in. Now the drill is a little, you know, stiff. It's not as loose, but of course that comes with time. It will definitely get looser, I'm sure. So I'm gonna go ahead, lock this down. Also, just to let you know, um, the more you turn to your left, this is your adjustment knob for pressure. Turn to your left to loosen it up. Turn to your right to tighten it up. So counterclockwise to loosen. There goes the beep. It's ready. Auto open. Auto open. So as I was saying, turn to your left to loosen it up. Turn to your right to apply more pressure. Remove that. Let's see how well it pressed. That is in the shirt. And that's on there. This is the sublimated HTV. That looks really good. Of course, I always do a second press, final press. So I'll go ahead and do that. But I only do that for like five seconds or so. I love how smooth this is. It is, it is really smooth. So if I wanted to apply more pressure, then I would just turn to the right. So that did a whole 15 seconds. So the only thing I will need to find out, see mine has like a release button that I can release it if I don't want it to do the full 15 seconds. So I definitely don't wanna have to always tap how many seconds I'm doing you know, for my final press. Otherwise I can just press it the full 20 seconds if I'm doing it that way. But I like to always sometimes do, you know, a second press. That looks really good. So that came out really nice. Don't want to touch that because that is hot. That looks really nice. So again, this was just a test that I was just doing just to test and use the heat press for the very first time. This is the 15 by 15 auto open from Recoma slide out drawer, touch screen, LCD panel. Um, again, if you need to tighten, so again, if you need to tighten or uh, add more pressure, you would turn to the right. If you need to loosen the pressure, you would turn to the left. So this is your adjustment knob here at the top. I really like this heat press. Of course, I like the color. It's black, it's orange. The drawer is really smooth. It's a little tight, but of course, you know, that will loosen up over time. So overall, Rakoma has some really nice heat presses. This is their 15 by 15. They do have the 16 by 20 in this one, and they do have some other ones as well. So definitely check out my link down below if you're interested in getting this heat press. I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off. I'll be using it so much more in my next upcoming videos because I'm gonna be unboxing next the white toner printer that comes from Rakoma as well. And I'm gonna be using this heat press to show and demo everything so that way I can get some more use out of this and give you some more reviews on this heat press. But they do have more sizes. They have the 16 by 20 if you wanna go bigger. So I am so sorry, I had to cut that light off. It was literally blinding me. So guys, I hope this video was helpful. I know so many people ask me so many times about what heat press I have. I definitely want to get a 15 by 15 to review because I already have a 16 by 20. So this one is gonna come in handy. So if you're looking for 15 by 15 this is a great option at a great cost and has all the features so sometimes you have to pay this for a heat press and you don't even get all these features so Recoma has it all in one package plus they offer this one in the 16 by 20 as well so Black Friday is coming up Christmas is coming up
Invest in yourself, get your brand new heat press. You can support my channel. Click my link down below. The price doesn't change for you, but it helps me to, but it does help me to give more videos like this for you. Everything that you see in the video will be linked down below. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good night. Bye.